But of course, little Rimrims, we all know that here in Rimworld Catharsis, what begins in the pod ends in the pod. But in a rare treat, it's not me in the pod this time. After I sat there and did a gargantuan, mammoth, grueling amount of research yesterday, and with a lot of assistance, I will admit, we did finally crack the secrets of bionics. And more importantly, mad camels. A local dromedary has gone mad. How can there be a local anything? This is a nuclear wasteland. We finally uncovered not only the secrets of bionics themselves, but of bionic conversion cycles. We can put entire fleshy human beings, or at least what's left of a fleshy human being, into a biosculpting pod and sculpt them with metal and components and whatever else you put into this, my god, very pixelated bioscopter pod. Oh lord. Will this kill 78? Will this fix her missing arms, lungs, heart, kidneys, and more importantly, her head? Uh, probably not. I'm gonna be honest. This mod was not designed to restore missing limbs, limbs that shouldn't ever go missing. So I'm pretty sure she's gonna come out of there with the shiny metal ass, but unfortunately... Are you having a laugh? It's 4pm, where Rim Rim? Any Rim Rims currently under your control may throw a tantrum if they don't get their daily Rim Rim soon. Yes, this is expected every single day with no breaks for illness, holiday, or sewage leaking into your house. Get used to it. Thank you. Uh, it's 6 p.m. now, as a reminder. If you're wondering why there wasn't an episode yesterday, I moved house. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, and I'm trying to do this whilst also moving house, and it's going very slow. Both are going slow. So I decided, look, I've got to take yesterday off to, to get something done. Oh, uh, well, that's right. I can't ignore the notification. We are now Rim Rims, after all. Impact is medium. You speak for yourself on that one. Each little Rim Rim is so totally focused on getting their daily Rim Rim and drawing art of channel waifus, it's a wonder anything gets done. That adds the precept of... Rim Rim being demanded. And that precept is apparently a basic right. To not watch Rim Rim on a television every day is a disaster of unimaginable proportions. So we have to schedule recreation at 4 p.m. every day? Oh, hot damn unreasonable Rim Rims. Fine, 4 p.m. every day recreation, but you gotta wake up earlier and do more work to make up for it though. So 78 is in the pod for 5.6 days. I think we can overload that while she's in there. Shift scroll adds more nutrition and instead speeds up the pod itself. I don't know if we can do it while it's already started. I mean, it is connected up to the it is connected up to the nutrient paste network. Oh my god, it worked! You see that? It took all the nutrient paste. Did it? Did that actually work though? Uh Did you just? Oh, we got up to three hundred and four percent. Ah, cool. It's not retroactive though. That's unfortunate. We've used up all the food and have nothing to show for it until someone gets into the pod next time. I presume. Well, never mind. That'll do. <laughs> Feeling depressed. I wonder why. Now, my goal while I wait for 78 and in between playing all of this poker by myself is to find a way to automate resource gathering. The problem is the second 78 went into the pod, the second she lost her head, we didn't get any resource influx whatsoever. We've got no steel. We've got very little plastic. We've got very little gold. We've got no uranium at all, which is a bit of a problem given that the base is running off of uranium right now. We are looking for, very simply, mechanoids that can mine for us. Could it be any easier? Uh, actually, now that I think about it, my backup plan was going to be getting a healer mech serum for 78 because her head's missing. I don't know if you've noticed that. If I'm not mistaken, after mechanite assembly is the ability to build... Oh my god. Mechanite assembling. Here we are. Is the ability to build healer mechanites. Well, it's a little more research after that, but you get the idea. I'm going to make a to-do list and I'm going to turn this into the planning room. We'll turn this one into the ideology room, I suppose. Um, sorry, how much is... That's 10 steel per wall side wall. Let's not go too crazy here. Number one, restore... 78. Perfect. Or what if that doesn't work? Okay, number two uh, is get research for healer mech serum. Oh, careful. This is all totally backwards. <laughs> number three, get resources. Because I imagine that's probably going to cost some luciferium at the very least. Resources for healer mech serum. Number four, build healer mech Serum. Perfect. Uh, that, that's a backup plan. I mean, we need to do number four before we can do number number one. But then, of course, we need to do number one and number three before we can do four before we do one. I've done this in a terrible order. You understand. You never know. She might pop out of there with a perfectly formed metal head. I don't think she will, but it's possible. Now, I am a very hungry, hungry boy. I think we'll replace this input terminal here with a nutrient paste tap so that I can wrap my sexy lips right around it and suck all that right down. Because the problem is right now, I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's making everything taste three times as long. Is that all you do? You slap that on a wall? Oh, maybe actually plumb it in though, genius. You slap that on a wall and then in theory, I just go up to it and grab a meal, right? I hope so. Ah, oh, that's exactly what it does. Hey, that's nice. 
I mean, it's nutrient paste. It's not nice at all. It's absolutely disgusting. But honestly, I really do need those mechanoid drones now because I barely got any resources left. In fact, we probably don't even have the resources to build the bloody drones if we do get them. Um... Uh, space up furniture. Honestly, sleeving might be good. I said I would talk about this today. So alternatively, what we can do is we can effectively install a floppy disk, a CD, whatever, into uh, the back of... Oh, 78's neck. She hasn't got a neck. She hasn't got a head. I don't know if we could do that. Anyway, we download her to a disk, then we plug that into a new body that we can grow in an incubator. That would definitely give her her head back. I'm just not sure we can even download her in the first place. This is a backup backup plan, you know, for if the other two plans don't work. And I mean, come on now, when do my plans never work? What do you mean where, Rim Rim? Rim Rim is currently in the extraordinary throw a tantrum they don't get the daily. Have I gotta have I gotta do something? Have I gotta make you watch Rim Rim? Oh no. Every day? You're insane. You are absolutely insane. Oh, at least it's fast, I suppose. Do they at least get a mood boost for what do you mean uninspiring episode? What the hell do you mean uninspiring episode? I cancelled the dwarf series, thank you. You get a benefit to doing it indoors, that's funny. 0 0.6 out of 2 screen quality. Well, I can't help that. This is YouTube compression. Look, one of these plans has got to work. That's the backup backup plan sorted anyway. I'll start working on the backup 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 plan next. Ooh, I like some of these carriels. They are quite fun. We are going to have to go out there into the water at some point too for some of the other, other things that we need. Combat improving bionics. Toxifier generator might be a nice backup. What about just recycling? What if we just stick to something simple today? After everything I've done, I just need a day of peace and quiet. No molecular analysis, no flesh shaping, no bionic conversion cycles, no nuclear catastrophes, no fighting N7 infected. Just learn how to sew clothes. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Strategic life simulation mechanoid foxtrot sent a ship to land on the planet. It is a cruiser. There are two mechanoid ships on the planet currently, frigate and cruiser, of course. When there are enough mechanoid ships on the planet, all the mechanoids get an upgrade. Then we have to fight things like advanced centipedes, which we are definitely prepared for. On top of all the horrifying mutants. Automated defense measures, hello. We haven't got any mechanoid components, and I, I, I mean, we can make them by converting other components, but to be honest, I'd rather save it for the drones. Simultaneously, they do, these do sound very good. Long-range missile launchers to nuke Void. I do love nuking Void. It's one subcore per mech component. One subcore is, what, 100 steel and... 100 steel and one regular component. So they're pretty expensive compared to regular components, at least in this particular mod pack. The hell is Arcadius's heart? This is the heart of the Angel Arcadios Dimos, a celestial doomed to an Imperial Hell Planet for crimes against the Empire. As a celestial Arcadius' organs were capable of regrowing. It donated its heart to create the ultimate being, Tuzan. Oh, it takes me back. I remember that. Wow. Does that mean we've got we've got all of them? Valerie's stomach! Oh we do! Hey there, General Joe's spine! Oh, nice. I mean, we've already done all this before. Legal Lee's brain, very good. It's not enough to take on Void. We don't need that shit. <laughs> we need better, stronger bionics than those weirdos. No. No. Stop it. Get some help there. Inspirational episode of Rim Rim. Yes, it is. That's goddamn right. An anima pod is sprouting nearby. Oh. Hello. Oh, well, that's nice. That's uh, th Those are the Granlin trees. Actually, with my psychic sensitivity now being ludicrous... And with the mod that makes it, oh my god, with the mod that makes it so that the, the, the psychic sensitivity affects the dryads, we could maybe have two trees growing at once. In fact, why the hell don't we? We could set some up as chloras. They won't do much, but against certain mechanoids like the low tier ones and against some of those lower N4 infected, I think it is. I think I was saying N7, but I think it's N4. That will actually help out quite a bit. There you go. Oh, we've got another right there. Oh, we got loads of the bloody things. Oh, yeah, well, let's get that one harvested too, genius. I mean, a big part of this was going to be terraforming after all. This makes perfect sense. I want to, to kind of line up a little bit. Oh, this is not going to work. This is an aesthetics nightmare. <laughs> yeah, well, good enough. You're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. So we got bar skins in the middle. This one I would like. Uh, let, let's go for the Chloras. And then we can go for one of the other angry dryads like the spitters and then we get combat mechanoids and it's machine and nature working together to defeat the end of all things wow that's so nice what's going on oh my god oh my god look at the psychic sensitivity holy shit base of 100 silent gives 10 soul collection plus songs have got one soul right now the idea legend gives 20 then the altex synchronization because he's wearing altex times it by 120 percent on top of the 20 percent it gives by itself oh my god 
If there's a psychic drone, I'm in a lot of trouble. Or if there's any psycasters amongst Void, I'm doomed. Round of applause, please, everybody. Seven episodes in, and finally, we have defenses. Thank you. Well, I mean, I haven't built them yet. I'm not even sure we can actually afford to build them. Mineral terraforming. Including eight, nine, ten different types of coal. We can turn the terrain into compacted plasteel. Whoa. That seems very overpowered. I don't need that right now. I'm sure it's very expensive. I need... I need drones? You don't seem to understand, though. I need... I need drones. Ooh, hang on. Wait, th this was part of the thing that let us build automated quarries, right? Well, let's take that one, even though it's not... Again, very detached from any way to get resources right now. Here's another thing we could look for. Somebody said, why not try the med pod? Because that will regrow missing limbs. Granted, it costs like 70,000 watts to run the bloody thing. 70,000, not 7,000, as in seven and four O's. So we're uh, a little bit little bit far away from being able to do that right now. But at some point, maybe that's another backup, 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 backup plan to being able to get 78 our head back. Maybe this is just a life and I need to accept it. Maybe she is just now totally headless. Machine learning. Excellent. It'll be trying to sell me graphic design on Discord in no time. Uh, I don't really need two different nuclear power that both add nothing. Uh, mind connection? I, we should go for SciTech. As soon as we've got the resources dealt with, that's it. Like, the world is our oyster. I can do whatever the hell I want. It's mad science all in. Uh, you know, because right now there is no mad science. No, sir, none at all. I've never even heard of mad science. You son of a bitch, every friggin' day. Oh... Fine, fine. Here's your damn rim rim. Oh, I hate him. I absolutely hate him. I'm sorry, have you changed my food bar to nuggies? I mean, I'm certainly not complaining. Oh my god, that's amazing. And totally appropriate, given that all I'm eating is liquidized slop coming right into my mouth, much like nuggies tend to be. The only difference is they're not... Oh, I completely missed that. Oh. <gasps> frigate 646 has been captured by Void. Oh no, they can capture the frigates. No, 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 that's not right. You're not supposed to be able to capture mechanoid ships. Otherwise, they're just going to expand nonstop. Ah, uh, we might have to do a little modding around that one, Chief. <laughs> that's that's an unintended interaction. Because those mechanoid ships can spawn in forever. They're supposed to be destroyed with an event in the mechanoid mod. But of course, avoid capturing them. They turn into a permanent faction base. That doesn't seem good. I'm going to have to do some tinkering. Nuggies is the amount of nutritious nugs a creature has consumed recently. If it is at zero, a creature will become increasingly malnourished and die. It's weird. I seem to still have that problem no matter how many nuggies I consume. It was got touch grass. This expresses the need to get outside and touch grass, something unfamiliar to many gamers. It is harmed by long periods inside, especially underground. It improves when someone spends time under the sky. I disagree. I haven't left this room all day today. I was painting a wall. I mean, it looks lovely. I did a fantastic job, if I do say so myself. I will admit, I'm starting to feel a little woozy. I probably should let that paint dry before I start recording. Mind crush. Psychic projection used for more than harming people. Ah. Oh, no, this is for helpful effects. Well, that's not a mind crush. Um, yeah, you know what I'm looking for, though? Well, that would do it. Improved automatic quarries. It's not exactly what I was after, but it's pr probably close enough. We could probably scrounge enough steel up to... Oh, we can't build the machine frames here, can we? It is just something we have to start the blast furnace. Oh, Christ. And the first machine to make machine frames requires the basic machine frames from the blast furnace. I can't just, like, skip straight to that, eh? It's been a long time since I've played <laughs> Project Rim Factory. Why has that one been replaced by cement? I don't understand. Oh, yeah, look, it requires basic machine frames. So we have to build the blast furnace no matter what. Where the hell is the... Oh, that is the blast furnace. Um, because it uses anything that uses cement as a prerequisite has been changed. That's amazing. So minimum, we need 150 steel. I mean, I could at least go in the quarry to that extent, right? We could take apart some of this shit, because I'm not using this much. Like, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Do we really need that uranium to be sat on a shelf instead of on the floor? <sighs> I suppose so. Do we need this many water treatment facilities? No, I mean, there's one of me. Get rid of that water tower. We need to keep the pumps in place, though, because we're not pumping enough water as it is to keep the towers filled. This is either the paint fumes or I'm I'm seeing a load of shit here. Why are they all different? <laughs> what is going on? All we need now is 50 wood to get the concrete baby blast furnace enabled. What are you? Poison narwhal consortium. Oh, well, fuck with you then. Hello, have you got any wood for sale? Nano mechanites. Oh, for evolved organs. Oh, cool. We've got regular mechanites. We've got nano mechanites. We've got mechanoid components. We've got mach. Bruh. Cut out the middleman. Shit. I've gone to my very absolute maximum, and we can only just afford the machine frame, to be honest. 
I can sell some components, to be fair. We don't need 81 components. Thank you. Right, so now in theory, we can skip the blast furnace entirely because I'm pretty sure this thing can make other machine frames. What, what did we need? What that? What the? I can't even click it because the interface is so massive. Because there's so much stuff, it goes off the screen. You need a medium machine frame. No, my brother in Christ, they didn't sell medium machine frames. They've got smaller. They've got advanced. They haven't got medium. <laughs> what if we skip the middle middleman and we go straight to drills or like better quarries? What does that need? Whoa, whoa, whoa. pole straw mark. Oh, it's medium again. But the auger is one of the simple ones that we've got one of those so we could try and build this we just need 450 steel and what that what the fuck what is happening bucko drink <laughs> well that's definitely in game i thought i'd open something up in the background accidentally why is it doing that this damn modders is snuck in bucko drink music let's get the shit out of me <laughs> Certainly had horribly violent flashbacks. Uh, you gotta admit though, it does slap though, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's such a banger. We're gonna keep that one on. We're absolutely keeping that one on. Get on get on the auger drill, put it together. What is this? We've got 300 steel stored in the scientist cabinet. Oh my god, a down payment on the- Oh, that might pay the whole thing off. We've done it. It needs wood. What do you mean it needs bloody wood? It's an auger drill. Okay, it's an auger drill. Fair enough. Um... I never expected all my hopes and dreams to be smashed by a lack of wood. Uh, just dead trees. This music couldn't be any more appropriate for the nonsense that's happening right now. <laughs> you built the blast furnace to get the machine frame. You built the machine frame to build the other machine frame. That can make more machine frames that you need to use. The drills. With the drills, we can then build the things we need to glue 78's head back on. No. No. What do you mean, where rim rim? It's, got, it's the pain for you. <gasps> oh, God. I feel like I'm in crazy town. Just be glad. Just be glad you have no head. Be glad you have no head, 78. I have no ears and I must bucko drink. <laughs> when does it end? This shit goes on forever. I only ever use the, the, the same 10 seconds for for animatics. So I have absolutely no idea what this is. All right, how, how are we looking? Is that working? It is. Number of rocks minus of our zero. How long does it take? Oh, bucko drink's gone. Thank God. I mean, oh, what a great song. Produces a random resource every eight hours. Oh, good. Oh, cool. Okay. It can anger insectoids and draw infestations. Yeah, I can't wait for that one. That'll just be great to add onto the, my other list of stuff to worry about. What the hell is that? Coal. Lignite coal. A low quality coal with a low percentage of carbon in its makeup. It's only real uses for power generation, but you have no idea what all these coals are used for anyways. This makes it useful as a bituminous and... A it makes it as useful as bituminous and anthracite coal. Hooray. We can make compound coal. What the fuck are you doing? What is this mod? 50 coal, 50 liquid coal, 50 sheet coal, 50 bitumen bituminous coal. Coal, 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 coal. I'm not installing this mod again, I swear to God. Are you telling me I finally solved my power generation? And along with the low chance there was any way to hit steel, plastic, uranium, gold, or anything useful. We've now got a 10 additional things added to the rolls. Is compound coal at least good? Can I at least do something great with this? Uh, view compound coal. My God, are useful for all that coal? Oh, it's pretty all right, actually. Yeah. An ideal material for making anything from weaponry to armor. I start will be cleaner than ever before. Just make sure it doesn't catch on fire. It's a super dense chunk of flammable coal. The explosion will be as magnificent as it's destructive. Great, so it's useful, but it might also burn down the base. 200% flammability. Twice as flammable as your regular flammable thing. I'm pretty sure 200% flammability would imply it can self-combust, right? Because wood's 100%. Why the hell would you ever need to go above 100% flammability? Is this cabin fever? Is this the insanity? from being alone for so long with no one to talk to. And the only person he has been able to speak to most recently is Greg the moron. Yes, who could have thought that after everything that's happened so far, the multiple deaths and multiple raid from horrifying monsters and the constant imminent threat of destruction that maybe I've gone completely mad. 40 steel. Are you telling me there's a chance though? That is 40 more steel than we had earlier. Oh, I mean, if you ignore the fact that I spent 450 steel on the drill. So we are a net loss of 390 steel. No, 410 steel. I've gone mad and I can't do mathematics. 21 hours remain. 
Less than a day before I'm finally reunited with 78. I guarantee she's going to step out of that pod with no head. And then the backup plan becomes the main plan. What was the order? Resort 78, get a heal next to her, and we we'll resort a healer. We're not, we haven't even begun. That was just empty. <laughs> get rid of all this shit. No! Get rid of all this shit. We're not even storing food on shelves, so clearly we don't need this. Now, let's fight Void this series. By the way, you've got to fight them, not only with a single incompetent colonist and no defenses, but, oh, all your resources are going to come exclusively from smelting the steel slag from drop pods. Great. What do you mean, no storage space for steel? What do you mean, no storage? A steel... What the hell? Am I going insane? A steel right there. What do you mean, no storage space for steel? Just haul it. Pick up steel. Why can you not pick up all the steel? What the hell is going on? What? Uh-oh, upon closer inspection, you notice that this steel is infested with very angry steel termites. What are steel termites? They are termites enhanced with nanomachines, son. Their jaws harden in response to physical trauma. For that reason, they really like eating steel. Thus, this batch of steel is too chewed to do anything. It's effectively junk, except for trying to pawn it off to unsuspecting traders. I've never been so close to uninstalling a mod, let me tell you right now. I thought, oh, that's good. It's actually producing a consistent amount of steel. That's surprising. No. No, it's not. That's it. That's it. No more. That, that's better. Yeah, that's far better. Thank you. Art imitates life. Oh, I love you, Bartskin. Triad <laughs> art imitates life. Get out of the pod. Get out of the pod with your head intact. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Go. Live. Live, damn you. Where has she gone? She disappeared again. This happened the last time. How did I fix that? He's done it. He's done it, but she's still... Oh. <gasps> this is a disaster. <laughs> she's still missing both of her legs. She's missing her lungs, her shoulders, her heart, her kidney. But she does have a kidney and a tailbone. She has a couple of drill arms. Oh, that's good. She's got a tongue, but no head. So I guess it's just flopping there loosely against her chest. Experimental ears, which again, must have fallen off immediately. We've got to plug her back in like Mr. Potato Head. But she's got no neck. I mean, on the plus side, when we do find a way to cure her neck and then her head, all of these bits are going to be really good, right? I presume they're quite good. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, Experimental Bionic Eye. I love that. I love that for you. Uh, the problem is... You haven't got a head to plug them into. Plus side, you can digest really efficiency now. That's good. That's great. Everything I touch turns to shit. You know what? Come over here. This, this is also now not accurate anymore. That's done for. Much better. Much better. Perfect. Thank you. Go make your business. It's all good. It's all good. The modders can make me out to be a clown. I'm a clown. I'm a clown. I will toot my horn. My horn? My nose? What do clowns do? <laughs> what do clowns do, he says. Without a, without a shred of irony <laughs> as he looks over at his headless wife. <laughs> I think it is the paint fumes. Okay, so we're back on Operation Healer Mech Serum. Oh, yep. So, sorry, my bad. Let me just hop on my unicycle and head over there. What do you mean by that? The number of gamers in the colonies have reached three. Oh, close enough. You can now assign the role of perpetual waifu to one of your colonists. <sighs> what choice have I got? <laughs> what choice have I got? Wow, yeah, no, that is that is very close to real life. I don't bother taking my clown makeup off when I go to bed because it's just easier for me to sit down and start recording when the second I wake up then. Okay, with all the steel slag mounted down though, we did actually get a good amount of regular steel. I wonder if we could go back to the blast furnace idea because at least that's something more reliable than whatever the hell we've got going on right now. And boom, there we go. Oh, 78. Oh, God. Just stuffing raw frozen rice into her neck hole. Oh. No. What do you mean? That makes small machine frame, right? But what, what, where do I go from there? I don't remember. That's real furnace. No, I must have missed a step. Oh, I remember it now. I remember it now. It was there all along. I'm going insane. We didn't need the blast furnace at all. We didn't even need the blast furnace. Make this and then you make, yeah, there you go. The machine frame. Oh, you moron. You actual fool. Makeup couldn't be any more appropriate. Wear rim rim. Wear rim rim. What does the pollster need? The green machine frame. We can craft those now, right? We can. We can. We can actually just make the drills. Oh, thank God. You know what? Leave that at one. Let's not get too greedy. Pulse drill. 
I would like to put that in the stockpile, maybe next to the auger drill. And maybe we'll get rid of the auger drill to be able to afford to build this. Only 350 steel left to go. Take, take apart the auger drill. Just, just take that apart. No, 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 no. Just take that apart. Take that apart. It won't give us enough steel, I don't think. 225. No, not quite enough. But, but we take apart all of this stuff. <laughs> all of my desperately needed storage. <gasps> and then we do that. Gods be praised. The resources. We don't need you 78 anymore. I'm still going to try and fix ahead, of course. Oh my god. Thank you. It's better. It's better. It's faster. Produce a random resource every three hours. It's four times as fast. It can mine any of those. Oh my god, and it's got a much higher chance of actually mining a resource instead of chunks. And look at all the fucking coal. Look at all the coal. <laughs> so we've got like a... We've got a... I don't know if these are even. I don't think that's like a 1 in 12 chance of getting steel. I think steel probably has a higher weighted chance. Because things like gold and silver are going to be a much more smaller percentage. That's good. Ooh, four rocks mined so far. What do you think we've got? That's right, nothing but different types of coal. There's different types of coal and fake steel. Now, the memes, are, the memes are good. The memes are funny. They're very deep cuts to the channel. But this is a serious playthrough. I mean, it's got a serious undertone. We do actually need to get some progress here. And I think, despite that it has been wrapped in a meme shell, this pulse drill is pretty massive. Because once we get one going and that starts bringing in steel, as slow as it is, we can get another one that will bring in even more steel. One Helamex era will be the difference between potentially 78 having a head and not having a head. She was randomly generated with two drill arms when she came out of the machine. So when she goes back into the quarry, she'll be probably decently fast not as fast as she was before with all those void implants pr experiences it's an exotic goods trader come on show me show me show me one healer mech i don't think i've got enough to buy one anyway so it might not be even worth looking there's no point getting your hopes up like this Did i see chocolate m milk i knew we saw chocolate milk oh there's a healer mech zone right there shit you've got two of them as well actually they're not as expensive as i remember Ooh. okay um I'm sure we can probably actually afford that. Plasteel, not all the plasteel, though. I need some of the bloody plasteel. Here, 818. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good as new. Boom. Boom. Is this going to work? Oh, no, I need to use it on someone else. Something does not require tender and cannot not prioritize to hauling. No, no, I need to use it on 78. And she can't use it on herself. She's going to say incapable of manipulation, isn't it? Oh, I've got to draft it up. <laughs> you motherfucker. Okay. Let's <laughs> just go ahead and get rid of that. You cannot be blank. Uh, liar. You goddamn liar. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Um, I don't know what to do, and I've just sold everything to get heal on mech serums. Wait, oh, I can add it as an operation. I can add it as an operation. Don't panic. Well, we tried doing that before, but it didn't work. It just didn't work. Well, we can try it. Oh, I'll give it another go. Somebody said that maybe last time the lifter was going in and grabbing this stuff before we could grab it, but I locked the door, if you remember, to stop the lifter getting in. So I'm not sure that was entirely the case. Okay, door is locked. They're both in. You lie down, get administered. No doctor. No doctor. That's... What do you mean, no doctor? I'm right there. What the fuck do you mean, no doctor? Is it because he can't get to medicine now? What if we do that? Can you rest now? No, 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 no. What is happening? I'm losing my mind. Is my guy was asleep. Is that the bloody problem? Can you operate on her now? Yes, go. Oh my god, it's actually going to work. Because there's nothing for them to snatch. No, no, no. The helix room is on the floor, but I don't think they're going to grab it. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yes! Yes! I had no idea if that was going to work, if you couldn't tell. Oh, shit. I'm a goddamn genius. I'm a goddamn genius. Oh, shit. She's dying. What do you mean? She hasn't got any lungs. Oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Nor has she got a heart, now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm a moron. <laughs> I just <laughs> resurrected her without a heart or any or any lungs. Okay, I mean, even if I use a Helamex serum. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've got so many tears in my eyes. Um, Right. 
Hold on, though. I, I sold those fucking lungs, didn't I? Because I needed money. Oh, God. Uh, can we put her in the... We've got a crypto casket. Put her in the crypto casket. Make a lung. Carry her to the crypto casket fast. That will keep her alive until I can craft some lungs. <sighs> that... <laughs> made me lightheaded. That was so stupid. <sighs> Shit. Okay, I need your cheapest lung, officer. Because I haven't got... I haven't got any money. Uh, I've got anything. We just got to make some more of the detoxify lungs. Can I afford it? 15 plus steel for advanced coins. I think we genuinely... Because that, hasn't, that doesn't use steel, I think we can genuinely do that. This is it, though. And then we can use that to repair our heart. So she's good. I, I genuinely had to take what I can only describe as a stupidity headache there. We got another trade. No, I'm not doing that anymore. I don't think my heart can take it. On the plus side, look at what we've accidentally stumbled across trying to get 78 of her head back. We've got shields, or just now researching shields. We've got actual defensive research. We've got augers set up, which are generating resources. Granted, some of the resources are, um, this is actual real steel. Look at that, you see? Some of the resources are useful, some of it shit, but at least we can sell it, right? Fire, foam, coal, how dare you? We've got loads of useful stuff today. Like we picked up loads of good stuff. And not to forget the little dryad army that out the front there. I feel safer already. And to top everything off, 78 is done. This was an entire meme fest and I accidentally stumbled into greatness. Hey, am I going to be able to open up the pod and operate on her before she dies of oxygen deprivation, though? But it doesn't really matter if she dies of oxygen deprivation. Because she's immortal. So let's, let's, let's give the, the, the healer mixer for the heart immediately, I suppose. Okay, 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 hold on, heart, confirm. Then, oh, she's got brain damage, shit. I probably wish she hasn't got any friggin' oxygen going on. Clinical death, no, 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 you must be, mis you must be mistaken. And then get that installed, and then we can fix her later. Best quality medicine prevents this operation, what the hell do you mean? We haven't got any medicine. We've got no medicine. We've got no medicine. I can't do it still. Let her die. Honestly, just let her die and then we'll resurrect her. Or she will come back. Okay, necessary evil. This is a necessary evil. Is she... Oh my god, she can't die. She can't die even without... Oh my god, even with all of her body parts put back. We've, we've made like an... What the fuck? What the hell do you think you're doing? Combustion elephant? Recipe should microallergen obsessed with. Oh no! What are you doing in there? <laughs> no, you son of a bitch! I knew you were gonna do that. Oh no 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 no! We don't we don't do that. We don't do that. No no no! I said fire. Did I not say fire? I swear I said fire and not melee attack. Hey, how's them sprinkles working out? With sprinkles, stinky. Cannot believe it gunned it for my pulse drill. It almost tried destroying the infinite resources that I'd only just gotten. Oh, she can't even die even with the... Uh, even with all of her body parts back. That's really, that's really strange. That's really bizarre. Okay, um, well, you're just going to stay there and be brain damaged then until I get enough medicine to fix you. So she's still not out of the woods yet, but she's bloody close. You know what we could do? We could flip you over into a medicine maker, Dryad. And hope that's good enough. I know that she's technically not walking, moving, or doing anything, but you know what? Base destroyed. Oh my god. Galactic Black Market is gone. That was it. That was their final base. It's just void of mechanoids now. What a fantastic place to end it. I was going to say this. Let's wrap it up here anyway. Even though 78 isn't walking, talking, or doing the usual things she can do, she is a, a tiny, a, a, a tiny part away from being fully back to life. We did just lose our only friend out there in the world. It's nothing but void. I was about to say void and mechanoids. Nope, it's just void. They are not pissing around. The mechanoids aren't landing fast enough, so the void is just going to go in there and slap them around. I think the, me the mechanoids will drop more and more. The problem is the mechanoids have a minimum amount of colonists before they can land, right? So, God, I thought it was another one immediately. But you know the rules and so do I. What starts in the pod must end in the pod. I have hooked up the ENIAC. I've taken it from the lab and I've put it in there to reduce the fail chance by 15%. I have no other weaknesses to remove. I am the perfect being, but I can be perfecter. 31% chance of failure due to the genome stabilizer, the ENIAC, and everything else. And the fact that I've only got one weakness now. Those do add 10% each, and those are gone. So, I, I think I'm actually... I'm actually in a good place for once. Chaos reigns here on the rim, but... I think I'm pretty adept. I'm, I'm pretty adapted to chaos at this point. I am chaos. This whole fucking day has been nothing but chaos. I think I'm in safe hands. Thank you. 
to those whose hands I am safely nestled inside of like a nice chick who has fallen from the nest, gracefully and delicately nursed back to health, only to be released into the garden to be devoured by a house cat. Thank you to Frogs and Pants, Shinjian, Shadow1317, Vexters, Jeebus Crust, Anthony Frackenthal, Mr. Moosh, Shadow Shall I Lion, Shatner's Bassoon, Alex Dimitri, Erica, Fred Horvatin, Antolino, Rock Death Raven, Jam Plague, Vengeance Suka Kukaponga, Sherlock, Nildraith, Nuanced Fart, Dead Degrees, Skaz, Ayaba, Tifereth, The Cat Lover, 366, Worker of Secrets, Shiftless Pagan, Lapis Golem, Earth Rocker, Matman Speedy, and Ryan Duffy. Apologize if, you're, if I said any of your names wrong. I'm so brain addled at this point between the episode and the pain fumes thank you as well to j520,000 ace of hearts amazing moosh, moosh awoni chan johnny wood and ever vigilant one too did i read you out yesterday i'm gonna chalk that one up to the pain fumes as well <laughs>